Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space, including atoms and other particles. There are three common states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Each state has defining characteristics. Molecules in solid objects are packed closely together, and intermolecular attractions hold them in fixed positions. These characteristics give each solid a definite shape and volume. This means that a solid will not take the shape of a container into which it is placed. For instance, when we put this rock into a beaker, it maintains its original shape and remains a rock. We can change the shape of a solid by applying force. A loaf of bread, for example, can be sliced into smaller parts and clay can be molded into different shapes. Unlike solids, the arrangement of molecules and liquids gives them an indefinite shape. Intermolecular attractions hold liquid molecules close together, but not in fixed positions. These attractions are like strings holding styrofoam balls together. Liquid molecules are still connected, but they are not fixed like molecules and solids. That's why liquids take on the shape of their containers. While their shape may change, liquids do have a definite volume. This is 100 milliliters of water, whether it's in this container, this container, or this container. Gases like liquids also take the shape of their containers. Spreading out as far as possible, high energy gas molecules bounce against the walls of their containers. Gas molecules are not held by toothpick or string, so they move about more freely than molecules in solids or liquids. This means that gases have neither definite shape nor definite volume. A given amount of gas can fill a balloon, spread out to fill a room, or be compressed to fit into a test tube. It has no definite shape and no definite volume. We know that the three common states of matter are solid, liquid, and gas. Sometimes a substance changes from one state to another. That's called a phase change. Freezing and boiling are common phase changes that occur when heat is added to or taken away from a substance, such as water. Heat increases a substance's energy level. The addition of sufficient heat will generate enough energy to produce a phase change. For example, Solid ice will melt into liquid water, and water will evaporate into gas vapor. The opposite occurs when heat is removed from a substance. Vapor will condense to form liquid water, and that liquid will freeze to become ice. Regardless of the state of matter, the substance remains the same. Water can exist in different phases, ice, steam, and liquid, but it retains the same chemical properties in every phase. Now let's explore some other kinds of phase changes. When heat is quickly removed from a gas, the gas changes directly into a solid. This process is known as deposition. One common example is when frost deposits on your windshield. The direct transformation of a solid into a gas is known as sublimation. Dry ice, for example, sublimes when the cubes turn into carbon dioxide gas. Sublimation is unusual because very few solids skip the liquid phase during their transition into a gas. The temperature at which a solid melts under standard pressure is known as its melting point, and the temperature at which a liquid evaporates under standard pressure is known as the boiling point. Each substance has its own melting and boiling point. To recap, matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. The three most common states of matter are solid, liquid, and gas. Solids have a definite shape and volume. Liquids have a definite volume, but they conform to the shape of their container. Gases, a higher energy state of matter, do not have a definite shape or volume. Phase changes occur when the level of heat energy increases or drops. During phase changes, substances can boil, melt, freeze, condense, sublimate, or deposit. So now you know.